So many of you guys have been asking these questions lately in the community. Whoa, there's a new update in Adopt Me? Whoa, there's a new vault? There's new stars on the map? There's new characters? There's a lot of things that recently happened, guys, and I recently found out how to do all of it. But in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to crack the vault in Adopt Me. As you guys know, there is a new vault that a lot of people have been very interested about and have been wanting to get in. There has been multiple methods to get in, and then today we're going to be showing you guys the most effective and the easiest way to get into the vault. Make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys like any of our videos that really just help you in general. All we want to do is help you guys and just spread awareness. The main reason why I do this is because it's just when I used to play Roblox, I never really had videos like this to help me. So I really have fun helping other people and it's just something I like to do genuinely. So please subscribe and leave a like if you guys just want to be nice. But let's go ahead and get right into it. So they actually added this kind of riddle type bridge. As you guys know, there's kind of a bridge that you have to go under. This is, I'm kind of working backwards on this step, but I just want you guys to know where it's at. It's a bridge that honestly looks like there would be some type of troll or something. And under the bridge, there's actually a door. You want to remember where that is. So you want to go ahead and look at the map, look at the center point, find that bridge, go under that door and check if it's unlocked. Sometimes the door is already unlocked and sometimes you don't have to do too much work to actually find the vault. But most of you guys know where the vault's at. So go ahead and head over to the vault. Check your vault and make sure that you can be able to glitch through it and check if you can activate and basically just respond with it. Once you do that, you're kind of set in the clear. If you can't get into it, you want to go ahead and get all four stars around the map. They are random stars and they are randomly placed on the map. So nobody really knows how or where to get them. You just have to go ahead and search the map and you will find them. Most people will actually help you out in the chat. If you say, I'm looking for the stars, can anybody help me out? Because they're kind of named by the server. Every server has different locations and it just makes it so it's more of like an Easter egg. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and eat some candy. I say candy, You can, most of you guys are going to say, well, why do you want some candy? Most of you guys do know what candy does, but candy makes you run a lot faster in Adopt Me. And it just gives you like a sugar boost. Go ahead and turn as a kid so you get more XP for doing this or stay in as an adult. But the next step you want to do is go ahead and get a stroller. If you have a friend with you or somebody in the chat that's willing to do it with you or get in the vault, this is a very easy way. Go ahead and get a grappling hook if you're by yourself either a, a stroller or a grappling hook. Go ahead and bring the stroller up to the vault. Once you get up to the vault, this is the very, very easy step. Once you go ahead and get right up to the vault, you wanna go ahead and just press sit or get out of the chair. Once you get out of the chair, you wanna go very, very close to the wall and you wanna just go ahead and activate and just hit a bunch of the keys and use the sit emoji to go ahead and sit down and get up and sometimes it will glitch you through. If it's not doing that, go ahead and use the grappling hook and just keep shooting yourself through one of the ledges. You can actually, there's a little gap that you can see through and you just keep doing that. Once you get into the next window, you should be able to see another little door. You do the same exact thing. You shoot your grappling hook into the little hook. And once you get into the hook, you're kind of basically set in my opinion. You're in and that's honestly a very easy way to get in. There's a few other steps that are a little more complicated. They're kind of guessing games, but it just depends. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a lot and it is greatly appreciated. I try my best to get these videos out as fast as I can before anybody really gets them out because some people really just like to flood with false information and it's not really cool for you guys to be looking and seeing just honestly fake news. I personally think we do a really good job of getting the information and honestly just posting it as fast as we can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to spread this video to your friends and on Twitter if you have one. Peace.